He taught philosophy in Rome during the reign of Nero and was sent into exile in 65 AD. He is recognized for his teachings and for being the teacher of Epictetus and Dio Chrysostom. He is known as Gaius Musonius Rufus, a prominent Roman Stoic philosopher. In the bustling city of Rome during the first century AD, a wise and influential philosopher by the name of Gaius Musonius Rufus emerged. Known for his profound teachings, Gaius Musonius Rufus dedicated his life to spreading the principles of Stoicism. As a renowned philosopher, he had the privilege of teaching in Rome during the reign of the notorious Emperor Nero. However, his commitment to truth and virtue came at a cost. In 65 AD, Gaius Musonius Rufus found himself exiled from Rome, a consequence of his unwavering dedication to his philosophical beliefs. Despite this setback, he continued to impart his wisdom, inspiring countless individuals with his lectures and discussions. His influence extended far beyond his own time. Gaius Musonius Rufus's teachings left a lasting impact on the world of philosophy. He was not only known for his own contributions but also for the exceptional individuals he nurtured. Among his many students were the renowned philosopher Epictetus and the celebrated orator Dio Chrysostom. Through his guidance, Gaius Musonius Rufus shaped the minds of these future luminaries, ensuring that his philosophy would be carried forward for generations to come. Gaius Musonius Rufus, a philosopher whose teachings closely align with his pupil Epictetus, had a philosophy that was highly practical in nature. He believed that philosophy was not just a matter of words or academic instruction, but something that each individual could pursue through their own reflection and practice. Musonius saw it as fitting for a philosopher to dress in the robe of a philosopher, allow the hair to grow, and withdraw from general society. He believed in the power of philosophy to heal the corruption of the human mind. For Musonius, philosophy was all about the rules for living a virtuous life. He believed that knowledge should always be put into action. While he did not reject logic, he saw it as a sign of weakness to avoid examining fallacies that confuse the mind. However, Musonius also expressed his disdain for the multitude of dogmas that only served to feed the vanity of the sophists. Ethics held a central place in Musonius' philosophy, more so than logic or physics. He viewed philosophy as an investigation and practice of what is right and obligatory, and believed that it was simply the pursuit of a virtuous life. Musonius emphasized that both men and women should cultivate philosophy as the surest path to virtue. Musonius emphasized the importance of both mental and physical practice. The exercise of the mind through reflection and the adoption of good rules in life were crucial, as well as the endurance of bodily pains that affected both the soul and the body. Living according to nature, for Musonius, meant cultivating social and friendly sentiments, being content with fulfilling the basic needs of nature, and combating all forms of selfishness. He also had strong views on marriage and family, considering them not only natural but also essential for the preservation of the entire human race. Musonius vehemently opposed the unnatural practice of exposing children and advocated for acts of benevolence whenever possible. In his quest for a simple life, Musonius offered detailed guidelines for diet, self-care, clothing, and even furniture. He believed in allowing the hair to grow long, honoring the natural purpose of hair to cover the body. Musonius discouraged the consumption of meat and preferred food that was provided by nature rather than requiring cooking. Musonius believed that both men and women were equally capable of understanding virtue and should be trained in philosophy. He saw philosophy as a mental art of healing and placed great emphasis on the practice of virtue, valuing action over mere theory. Gaius Musonius Rufus's philosophy, with its practical focus on ethics and the pursuit of a virtuous life, offers valuable guidance for daily living. His teachings remind us of the importance of self-reflection, the power of philosophy to shape our minds, and the significance of practicing virtue in our actions. By embracing these principles, we can strive to lead more meaningful and fulfilling lives. Gaius Musonius Rufus, the esteemed Stoic philosopher, was no stranger to adversity. Born into a family of Roman Iques in Volsiniae, Etruria, he grew up during the reign of Nero, a time of political turmoil and perceived tyranny. Musonius Rufus gained fame in Rome for his teachings of Stoic philosophy, which resonated with those seeking guidance and solace in a troubled world. However, his association with the Stoic opposition against Nero's rule led to his exile, alongside the banished rebellious Plautus. Despite the harsh conditions of his exile on the barren island of Gyros, Musonius Rufus saw it as an opportunity to deepen his understanding of Stoicism. In his Ninth Discourse, he reflected on the advantages of solitude and the challenges it presented, highlighting the resilience and strength required to practice Stoicism in such adverse circumstances. Eventually, the tides of power shifted, and Musonius Rufus returned to Rome under the reign of Galba. 
When Marcus Antonius Primus, the general of Vespasian, marched upon Rome, Musonius Rufus joined the ambassadors sent by Vitellius to advocate for peace. He preached about the blessings of peace and the dangers of war, but his message was cut short by those in power. Despite his efforts to promote peace, Musonius Rufus was not spared from the political turmoil. During the reign of Vitellius, he accused and successfully convicted Publius Ignatius Seller, a Stoic philosopher who had condemned Barius Serenus. Musonius Rufus's influence was so respected that Vespasian allowed him to remain in Rome while other philosophers were banished. However, exile eventually found him again, only to return after Vespasian's death. The exact details of Musonius Rufus's death remain unknown, but we do know that he was highly regarded in his lifetime, as mentioned by Pliny when he speaks of his son-in-law, Artemidorus. Musonius Rufus's teachings continue to inspire and guide us today, reminding us of the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and its application in navigating the challenges of daily life. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.